Hey, it's Lizzie, and welcome back to the Game Maker Role Playing Game Tutorial. Um, so I decided to skip over um, variable setup and drawing things because, um, well, kind of I think we kind of have to do that as we go with the various uh, features. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to, you know, save your game. Um, you know, kind of. Well, yeah. So, I'm going to add an object and call it object control. And in the, uh, I'm going to add a key press letters S event. And, okay. So, um, kind of what you need to do is. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yay. Okay, so this is, uh, I'm going to make a local variable called AA yeah, equals, um, function called show message, um, extension. Thing, um, Choose a slot. Okay, and then slot one, slot sorry, two, and ah, slot three. Okay. So then if AA equals 1 and uh, I'm like uh, drop down menus because there is, um, this is um, stands for argument 0, this would be argument 1. So, well, fortunately it's a little nicer not having to add 0 first, which I find really annoying. Okay, so if AA equals 1, um, game save slot 1. Alright, and that's pretty simple. Okay, and just eh, sorry. Two and three, and then um, going to uh, duplicate this event and choose letters L and. So then I'm going to change this to game load. And voila. So I'm going to test that by adding control into room zero. And testing. Again, I'm sorry this takes so long. I've just got so many graphics in it in here. I just, yeah. Okay, so if I load it, no error happens um, automatically. If I, for example, save this in slot one, and I'm going to move, press L for loading, 
and I move back to that position. And so that basically works with each slot. So um, a player can have three characters, slot one, slot two, and slot three. And it's as simple as that. So uh, thanks for watching.